Well, good evening, friends. I'm going to uh, be making some jelly today, or jam, and it's jalapeno cranberry jam. And it's going to go so good on that leftover turkey, or wherever you want to use it, on a block of cream cheese with some crackers at your gatherings. But I wanted to show y'all, I started to not film it, and I thought, you know, somebody might want to see that. You can buy a bag of cranberries in the produce department, get you four or five jalapenos, and you're set to go if you got some sure gel and sugar. I'm gonna, I've already crushed my, my cranberries. The recipe said boil them till they pop and then mash them. So I just went ahead and put them in the food processor and just chopped them a little bit. So I can go ahead and get it done a little faster. I've added in about four seeded jalapenos and a half a cup of apple cider vinegar and a half a cup of water and the juice of one lime. And I've got to get that uh, to a boil and then I'll add sure gel get that to a boil that I can't stir down and add two cups of sugar and then, then we're going to jar it up and put it in the water bath for 10 I'll let y'all come over to the stove with me and look in the black pot see what's in there and I'll get it cooking okay you can see I've got my peppers and my strawberries I mean cranberries berries and uh, the water and vinegar and lime juice and I'm fixing to turn the fire on and let that uh, come up to a boil and get warm and then according to the recipe I'm going to add my sure gel and make sure it's boiling that I can't stir it down. And then I'll add the sugar and boom, we'll get it into some jars. So let me get all this done and when it's time to add the sure gel, I'll bring you back. And then when I add the sugar, I'll bring you back. Then we'll jar it up. When you're planning on doing some canning, if you'll get your little canning station set up, y'all know I always do everything on my butcher block, my booze block. And I have uh, the straw trivets there to set the hot pots on. And I have my vinegar and water and my ladle and the funnel to put it into the jars. I have everything ready. I always sterilize my jars and get them into the oven at about 200 degrees to keep them hot. Have my water bath canner going. So when I get to this part, and it, it goes pretty fast, then I'm ready to jar it up and get through in the kitchen. So it's a whole lot better if you prep ahead, whether you're cooking a casserole or a meal or whether you're doing jelly or jam. The prepping ahead saves you a whole lot of time. I'm going to add my sure gel. When this gets to a boil, and I don't, it's not going to just roll and tumble because there's not enough liquid in there. But uh, I'll add the sugar, and when that sugar melts, that'll make plenty of liquid. I thought about adding a clove or two of garlic to this because I'm going to use it over cream cheese, but I figured that might not work. So I'll just do it according to the recipe. There's just so much you can do with cranberries. I always try to get extras after the Christmas holidays are over because they'll mark down what's in the produce department usually and I put me some in the freezer. But I wanted this to go on turkey sandwiches. Okay, I'm going to add in my sugar, two cups, and then I'm going to bring it up to a boil and so I'll bring y'all back in a little bit when it's ready. Got my heat on medium because this pops like when you cook gravy and it'll pop out on you. I always keep a bottle of lavender oil handy in the kitchen because anytime you get yourself burned or something hot pops on you, if you will immediately put some lavender oil on it and then an hour or so later put some more, you will not have a sore place. There won't be a blister. It takes care of it. Lavender's good for so many things, but that's why I keep it in the kitchen. I'm prepared. Okay, let's see how many we get. Boy, that's thick. Mm -hmm. 
think I'm going to get but two pints. Because it said four half pints and I don't have any half pints. But I'm going to make another batch. Because I want some for gifts. That's hot. I always use an old cup towel that doesn't really matter because I always get stuff on it. Let me get my vinegar, get my rims wiped down good where to seal. Get some rings out. And I guess these two can go in the water bath all by their lonesome self while I get ready to do some more. I got my two little lonesome jars in here. They'll be in here for 10 minutes and then we'll get them out. Okay, I'm going to uh, get a picture of that pint over there where I can put it in the... Let me get it and show you. Here's the uh, pint. Of course, it's dark. You can't see very much. But I got two full pints, which the recipe said it would make four half pints. I wish I had some half pints, but I'm fixing to make some more because i got to use up these cranberries. I don't want them to ruin. So anyhow, there's what it looks like. Well, I'm fixing to get started on that next batch, and I'm not going to film it because y'all saw what I did on this one. So the good Lord bless and keep y'all, and I'll be back in a day or two with something else.